I wish there was a place where survivors like me could go, a getaway place. A place to be alone in nature and just be without feeling like I need to explain how I'm doing or attempt to meet expectations I feel like I can't meet. A place to learn and hear from other survivors, how they deal with their trauma and simply be understood by women around me. To learn how to still be in relationships with people around me, people who have no idea how I'm feeling. I myself don't even know how I'm feeling. A place where I can learn about myself and my brain and the effect that the trauma has had on my body. I wish there was a getaway place, a place to go and figure this out, figure me out, this new me, to figure out how to live in this new life. What is psychologically going on with me? How do I deal with PTSD and interact with the people around me who seem to be living in another reality? How do I love the people close to me well when I feel like I have nothing to give? How do I silence the nagging voice that says I have nothing to give? How do I walk again, talk again? I need to get away to replenish my soul and just breathe. I wish there was a place where survivors could go to heal. But how do I heal from something I myself can't understand and most other people can't even try to? Maybe instead of healing, it's relearning. Learning the needs of this new me. Learning an entirely new definition of desperation, dependence, and redemption. Learning what it looks like to really need people and not be able to give much in return. I wish there was a place where I could go, rest my spirit, and learn the skills I need to feel safe, capable, and powerful again. A place to learn how to tell my story or not feel pressure to tell my story. A place to become safe and sound and find the peace I long for that allows me to live into the purposeful life for which I was designed. One in three women will experience sexual assault, domestic violence, or stalking in their lifetime. It's an epidemic that plagues our families, our friends, and our neighbors. As the father of a survivor, I know firsthand the complexities of the aftermath and the long road to restoration. The Banks is a first-of-its-kind, state-of-the-art campus for survivors, their families, and the professionals who serve them. It's nestled in the heart of South Carolina, offering sanctuary for people who've experienced violence and abuse from across the United States. Each year, the Banks will provide comprehensive care and respite for survivors, ensuring they have the medical, legal, psychological, and physical support they need to live healthy lives. At the Banks, specialists will meet survivors exactly where they are and help them get to where they want to be. Brett and I are thrilled to be bringing this beautiful space to life that also serves as a venue for training sessions that help professionals and community members better identify, prevent, and intervene in cases of interpersonal violence, ensuring a more secure future for us all. None of us asked to be in this position, but this is something we're all doing together. My name is Dean Sinatra, and this is my daughter, Amelia. I'm a waterfront developer, and I'm building the banks. Please join us. Good job, Dad. I'm Claire, and this is my story. I'm Haley, and this is my story. I'm Heather, and this is my story. I'm Katie, and this is my story. I'm Amelia, and this is my story. I'm Carly, and this is my story.